it's time to play. I hope it's nothing breakable in there. What's in there? What's in there? Rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to play with me. Last month was a good month, and this month need to be better. Amen? Hey, YouTube. Thanks for coming to watch my May Playbox unboxing. I noticed that I was the last one to get the Playbox last month, and it seems from the videos that are coming out that I may be among the last people to get the Playbox this month, and that's okay because Sephora did it a little differently this month. They did the spoiler where they said everything that could possibly be in your Playbox. So we don't know what we're getting, but we know what group of things that are out there that it could be. I saw everybody's box. Last month, um, my box was different from any other box that I saw on YouTube. And I'm hoping that this month that trend continues because nobody's got the milk blur stick so far. And I'm hoping that I'm the girl so far. Nobody's received that milk blur stick. And I'm hoping that my box, which is later than all the other boxes, is the one that gets it because I want to try that milk blur stick, you know? I was even looking on Sephora Favorites to see if they included it in a favorites kit, and they didn't. So I'm hoping that I get it. I mean, the other things seem good, but I'm hoping I get that milk blur stick. Now, on to the little rant that I want to include in this video. I watch Kimberly Clark, I watch Auntie Hoss, and they have helped me immensely. I've joined the panning community. I'm using the products that I buy. So I thought it would be irresponsible of me to play into the consumerism fantasy and euphoria that just receiving stuff and hoarding it and knowing in the back of my mind I have it is what my receiving a Sephora play box is all of. So the, I will do my unboxing. And after I do my unboxing, I will then share with you what I got previous month where you're like, well, that's old hat. Well, this is why I'm doing this, guys. If all you ever think about is receiving stuff, but you don't care if it works, you don't care if anybody used it, you just want what you want, and you don't want to actually be responsible with yourself, that is buying into the fantasy of consumerism. When I shop I get a euphoria. I feel like I've done something. I feel like I've made a change in my life when I buy something. Then after I purchase the item, the next step to actually completing that act and getting to the what I really want means I need to use the item. I need to be responsible with myself. I need to make the changes that I am telling myself I'm going to do when I buy it. That's why they say people have this thing called buyer's remorse. They buy it, they're on this buying high, and then they get it, and then they're um, falling into what I call the curse of the wicked. The curse of the wicked is always wanting more and never being satisfied. The first thing in my basket is my play card, and this is very important to me because mama need them 50 points. I need them every month because I got stuff to do, I got parties to go to, and Sephora will let me in if I get enough of these 50-point passes. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. It's adorable, you know, to, to the regular people like me and you. The first thing we're going to look at is the paperwork. Why are we going to look at the paperwork? Because they say seven things at Sephora that you didn't know you could do. Now, I hope some of these are free things. That's what I'm really looking for, to see if any of these things are free things. So let's see. The first thing you can do at Sephora is flash your pay, plate pass and get a one-on-one -on -one beauty advisor tutorial. So if you flash this pay pass, this play pass, you can get a tutorial. So that's number one, okay, that's free. Number one is free, so we got one free thing. Second thing, get matched with color ID and to determine your precise color. Okay, that's two free things we can do in Sephora, which means I'm going to do them, okay? Number three is find something you love and ask a beauty advisor to prepare you a free sample. I'm already about that life, I got that one. And then we say, attend a play date. I meant to attend last month's play date, but I, I actually ended up not making it. But I do want to go to the play date and bring a friend. So that's me free plus my buddy. And then five is, love the up and coming brands in this box. Okay, we'll see, we're gonna check that out. And then where's number six? Number six is, 
stop by for a complimentary skincare consultation. So that's six things, and most of these things are free. And then number seven is redeem the monthly play pass and get 50 points. I think that's really cute, and I'm going to do these things, and you will see me checking them off in my next month's review. First of all, I'm already winning because this is that Trust Teats uh, highlighter that was broken in everybody else's. In mine, the top came off, but thankfully it's not broken, so I'm going to do that. We got a little swatchy there, and hey, I'm going to give you a little extra here. I'm going to see, I'm going to see, you know, I don't mind, I don't mind, and I think it's going to be a great base for me. It's, oh yeah, that's nice. Ooh, fire, let me see, let me see. Okay, so this actually, I'm using a gold, and this has uh, like a browniness to it. I like this. Stop, stop, Connie, stop, because you you're doing too much. Mm. So there it is, and um, I guess I'll, so that this doesn't ignore the people with OCD, something that I don't have, but I'm going to respect that, you know, we all got our own circumstances. So this works for me, and this is brown girl friendly. I'm almost as dark as any of us can get, and there it is. Y'all black peoples need to know you can work this. What color did I get? Um, we got, uh, I, I can't read that, you know, so let's just forget about it. It's on there. If you watched anybody else's video, they named the color. I, I can't, I can't today. I can't today, okay? So grand lips, when they put things in small writing on black things, they're saying that none of the old people need to know what is in there, you know? Grand Lips. It's a hydrating lip plumper. I've already got on my buxom, but I'm going to be extra today. I, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Okay. I do notice that it's pumping. I like the way it smells. It smells um, like nutty. Something nutty. Buttery. It smells buttery. And I've already done what I always do with these, which is now it's cloudy with all the colors I have on. I don't feel an extreme amount of tingling. I like the doe foot applicator in here. And, um... I like the way it feels on my lips. It's very comfortable, so it's not hurting me, but I should tell you, I'm a lip freak. I love lip freak, and I've heard people crying about lip freak, but I love it. Okay, on to number three. Number three. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen this in anybody else's. So, you guys, again, I guess I get the senior citizen play, and thank you, Sephora, for recognizing that I need mo. Here we go. Uh, it is the Tatcha Resurfacing Mask. Leave a comment below if you got the resurfacing mask. I, this is in a glass container. It's very expensive looking, and it's this lovely shade of green. So I'm really excited about the fact that this Tatcha company took the time to make a product that is in a nice container. This is a mask, and it smells divine. It smells so herbal and fresh. And look at it. It looks so good. It looks like melon, but it doesn't smell like melon. It smells herbally, and I love putting herbs on my skin because the smell of herbs psychologically convinces me that it's got to work. So that's great. And um, I'm really, oh my goodness, you guys. I like everything I put up. I'm now starting to feel the sting from the Grand A lips. Take back everything I said before this stuff burns. <laughs> take, take, don't, don't listen to what I said earlier. The, it, it, it was a slow burn because I have on so much. But my, my gums are tingling. My lip is tingling. Um, my teeth are tingling. I can feel my teeth. It feels like I just brushed them. Okay? Oh, yeah. this month and I didn't buy it for, for myself for Mother's Day. I went with Juliet Has a Gun but I really love this fragrance. Oh my goodness. And I was thinking I would get it next month. God is good. Yes, I love this fragrance. It smells, it smells fresh and pretty. It's um, timeless so young people can wear it, old people can wear it. It's a fragrance that I, I said I wish more people in cubicles would take the time to wear something like this because folks be funky in them cubicles talking about they don't want to wear fragrances. Well, funk is a fragrance and I need somebody to attend to it, okay? Just that simple, you know? People, you know, it, it's not right. It's not right, okay? But I got the, the clean. Oh, my goodness, I love this stuff. Let me just see. Ah, ah, that feels, oh, it even is a good air fresh. Oh, this clean reserve, I'm about that life. How did they know? This, I'm winning. If you were around in the 90s, you know why I'm laughing right now. Okay, and um, I got this mask here. It's an Omega-9 hair mask. I don't understand at this point what Omega-9 does for your hair. Derived rainforest grown, so that means there are rainforests in Mexico. I've, I've been in the rainforest in Mexico off of Acapulco. There are rainforests in South America that I'm aware of. And there are rainforests in Western Africa, like Nigeria and stuff. They have rainforests. So the products from here could be from a variety of places I know of. At least three con I just mentioned three continents that have a rainforest there. So, let me see. Sunflower, okay? I got, we got plenty of sunflowers right here. Ain't no rainforest. I'm in the desert. Okay, canola oil. Y'all gonna have to work with me. I ain't seeing nothing from the rainforest. Wait, glycerin. Shea butter. Okay, maybe it's the quinoa that's from the rainforest. Lavender, they got that in England. Eucalyptus. Come on, people. Come on, people. You gonna tell me it's from the rainforest? And um, I guess the quinoa may be from the rainforest, but y'all, this thing got sunflower oil. Sunflower's really good for your hair, though. And shea butter's really good for your hair. Maybe shea, shea butter is from the rainforest, maybe. And, um, but I think that's, that's kind of, if, if you're talking about shea butter, 
and you say rainforest, I'm, I'm looking for something exotic, like, I don't know, Abu Dhabi Zubo uh, cream, Obobo cream, or something like that, you know, from the rare plant Ica Fica. But sunflower and shea, but it does have quinoa. Maybe quinoa is what they're looking for. I can grow quinoa too. It, it sounds, the ingredients, it sounds like a good product, and it sounds like something I would like. Let me just, let me just smell it. Nice, fresh, clean smell. Won't offend anybody. Cubicle people, use this in the morning. Your hair be smelling fresh. <laughs> Okay, you guys probably don't know what I'm... This is the milk blur stick. I wanted this in my play so bad. I wanted this in my play so bad. This stuff is shining on my skin and it filled in the pores. So stop, stop, stop. I'm through. I'm brand new this month. I have to say this. Shut the door. This is, this is my best play box ever. I've only gotten two, but it, how, how can it get better than this? I mean, what are they going to do? Just come down and hand me $300 pallets, you know, <laughs> in my $10 playbook with a $50 point pass? I mean, it can't get no better than this. This right here has got to be $10 or probably $20. This is probably $20. This right here is $10. That's $50 there. This right here is probably $10. You know how Sephora does it. This right here is probably at least $5 worth of hair care product. So, and I'm going to get 50 points so that I can go to a party on Sephora at the end of the year. That's what I use my points for. I want to go to somebody's party, somebody's breakfast, somebody's lunch, somebody's dinner. You know, I want to get as close to Bora Bora as I can on Sephora and somebody without being an influencer. You know, I got the influencer and I just show up and party. You know, when you get there, I'm there already because they called me and said, if you got a thousand points, you win. 50 points a month. That's 600 points. Okay? Woo! Welcome, Summer. Thank you very much. And I just want to say, I am so grateful for this month's Play Box. It brings tears to my eyes that I was able to get everything that I've been going in the store looking at, everything I've been thinking about trying, um, products that I couldn't come up with the resources to acquire this month, and they all came in my play box. I just, I just have to say, God really blessed me with that, and I'm grateful, you know. I'm, I'm grateful, and I want you guys to know I don't take it lightly. You know, I know people could say it's easy for them, but they didn't have to. And for $10, they went down to where the little people could get in on it. And I'm one of those people. By the grace of God, I was able to come up with that 10 bucks. And I am just grateful. That's all it is to it. I'm grateful. Hey everybody, I just want you to hang on. I have finished reviewing this, but as I said before, please hang on to the end and listen to my reviews of the products that I actually used from last month. It's my eye makeup and I use it to remove my under eye concealer and all of that because all my makeup, my skin holds the makeup. So this has been very helpful to me. I do like this product. It reminds me of Lancome's eye makeup remover and it reminds me of Neutrogena's eye makeup remover. I have used a fourth of the bottle sent it to me now that I am a mature woman. I was a young woman then and it was all the rage. It was the only thing on the block back then. But I was a young woman and this was too oily and slippery for my skin then. Well, now that I'm mature, I tried it again. And guess what? This is like a gold mine. It distorts wrinkles and pores. It, it makes my skin look much more flawless. It, it makes my wrinkles look, I mean, I feel like I look like I don't even have wrinkles. Ula Henderson's Truth. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look like I've used very much of this, but I actually had already purchased a couple of bottles of this and I have completed those two bottles and I'm now using this one. I really like this product. Um, I like it because it is a vitamin C product. It's light on the skin. It goes right into the pores. I actually use three serums at a time. So this is one of the three serums that I use. I use a power serum. I use a vitamin C serum and then I use an acid serum. So those all three I'm using simultaneously. This works, this works lovely with everything. Oh, I got another great product. And I think I was the only one that got this second one, and I really like this product. That ferruic acid or ferruic acid in there, it works the same for me as the SK2 Essence does. So it really purifies my skin, it detoxifies my skin. The next day when I get up, I actually have less scarring because I not only have um dark marks I have scarring so there's bumps if you look at my 